action hello everybody out there in the universe welcome to the third event of this week for the creators club uh today is all about podcasting today's your day to do the thing that you probably never make time for, which is to research new podcasts to go on, which is to write that perfect podcasting letter to the podcast you want to be on and to spend a whole bunch of time literally just sending out podcast outreach emails. So whether you're here live or whether you're here in the future, in some future moment, just if you're in, if you're watching the recording or listening to the recording, there's going to be, um, on our webpage, there will be a link to the resources here, the templates that we're sharing. And then there's also, um, whether that's on YouTube, SoundCloud, or on our website in the Creators Club event section, just click that link and you can use those templates as well. So just pretend like this is live and do this 90 minute session. And I promise you're going to get so much stuff done. You're going to outreach. The whole goal of this video, uh, this recording, this audio is for you to uh, reach out to as many people and for us collectively to reach out to as many people as we possibly can. So on that note, why podcasting? I mean, one, uh, earlier in the week, we talked about uh, ways to get off of social media and we came up with <clears throat> five or six different proven marketing paths that don't require you doing any social media posting at all. And uh, guest appearances was one of those ways. Um, you leveraging other people's audiences. It's simple. It's fun. It allows for you to jam on the things that you're passionate about, that you're an expert in, and it allows for you to uh, basically get on other people's stages and in front of other audiences that you never would have before. And there's oodles and oodles and oodles of podcasts that are out there in the world. And uh, it's really simple. People who host podcasts and specifically who have guests on podcasts are the kinds of people who are expecting people like you to write and submit the opportunity to go on their shows. And so your job is to find as many of those podcasts that you could submit to. And that's what we're here to do today. So I have pre-prepared, which I'm just going to share here. Uh, I've pre-prepared a very simple uh, template here. So this is going to be your template that you're all going to get access to in a minute. Uh, and it's basically, um, an instruction guide on what to write in each paragraph as you write your letter to the podcasting host. So we're going to take some time for you to take this uh, down below here. I also have a sample email, which I just wanted to test this last week. So using my template, I wrote this outreach email to uh, eight podcasts last Thursday, and I already booked four interviews. So I just wanted to see that it works and it worked. 50% have already said, yes, we've already booked those podcasts in my calendar. So that just tells you this is really quite simple. And that was for uh, Magic Kids that I <clears throat> booked those podcasts for. So the next thing we're going to uh, be doing once you work on your template is I created this podcast template so you can start to track all of the podcasts you're reaching out to. So you basically, the email you reach out to, uh, if you follow up, so I recommend if you haven't heard out, heard from a podcast within two weeks, send a follow-up email, just say, Hey, I haven't heard back. I just want to put this to the bucket, back top of your inbox again. I imagine you're busy. Uh, and then a little bit about the podcast, their website, who the contact email is, or if it's just a contact form, just a link to their contact page. So you can send again, uh, any taglines for their business. So you can remember a little bit about who they are and any notes of like, um, you know, like I reached out, I haven't heard back or I reached out, I heard back, they booked the interview. And then if you book the podcast, just right here, you can put that. Uh, and I have a little color coding so that it's really easy to scan and see, um, you know, if you've sent the email, highlight everything yellow, that means you're waiting to hear back. If you booked it, make it green. If they said no, make it red. And if you need to follow up, then make it blue. And those are just simple ways to do this. So you're going to get access to this podcasting spreadsheet as well, which is actually uh, this link right there. And you're going to need to copy and paste um, these um, emails and this link into your own or, or the uh, spreadsheet into your own spreadsheet file, because this is just for viewing. 
uh, so that everybody gets access to this. So you just have to copy and paste into your own documents. So that is uh, some of the fun stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm going to share that link in the chat here uh, for those of you that are here live right now and everybody else, uh, you'll see it in the email that you got this morning. If you're on my email list or you'll see it um, in the show notes, wherever you're watching or listening to this. So there's the link. Um, we're going to break this into uh, a couple phases. So we're going to spend uh, about 12 minutes right now, and you're going to work on your podcast outreach template. Don't worry if it's perfect in this moment. And then we're going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, and we're going to research podcasts that you're going to outreach to. And then after that, we're going to spend the rest of the time um, reaching out to those podcasts and booking interviews. And if you've reached out to all the ones that you have on your spreadsheet, then you're going to keep researching more and keep sending out more. Literally, when I sent eight podcast interviews the other day, um, it took me, I had about 30 minutes. I already, you know, I, I wrote the thing and then I had 30 minutes in the day before my day was over. Like, what do I do? Do I refresh my inbox for my email again? Or do I do something more productive than refreshing my email inbox? And I decided like, let's just send out some, some podcast emails. And that was what I did in 30 minutes and presto. Um, so just to quickly go over um, the template, just so it's really, uh, really clear for you uh, what to put in each section. So this first section here is you're making a connection about their podcast. You want them to know that you actually check them out. So you've done some research, read their about page, see what they're about even listen to a little bit or of their podcast or even the trailer for their podcast, if they have one on their channel, uh, then make the connection between you, your work, their podcast, and their audience. So that's up to three sentences. Uh, so really try to connect the dots of why you're relevant to them and the work that they're doing. And then this is more of like a bio section, but make it personal uh, and where you get to be a little bit braggadocious about what you do or who you are or what you've done, kind of the track record of why you might be a great guest and, and have some expertise in the areas that they're focused on in their podcast. Uh, here you can give some examples. So you could share, here's a podcast I did on such and such show, or here's a video that I released that's had a lot of views or an audio that I've done. Just share some links here uh, and elaborate a little bit more to offer some samples. It could just be one sample too. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch. You wanna try and keep these as short and sweet as possible. And then sign off by reassuring them again that you're going to make their audience just delighted with your, your presence. So, you know, this is how long mine was. It's not super long. And you're kind of just applying. You're trying to catch their attention to get the gig. So I'm going to turn on some tunes and you're going to get that uh, template there. And you're going to spend, I'm going to set my alarm uh, about 12 minutes uh, just working on your, your template. And uh, then after that, we're gonna do some research. So use that link, dive on in, and away we go. Uh, so no, thanks for the question. You're gonna work on your, uh, your first draft of your letter. Um, so yeah, work on the first draft of your letter, and then we're gonna do the research after. Uh, because once you get the, the draft of your podcast outreach letter, you're basically uh, going to customize it a smidgen for each individual podcast you reach out to, but you want the, the basis copy paste version of that letter. Uh, I posted the link inside the chat so you can see it there. Um, Don't forget to make a copy of the template so you can have your own version of that. So just when you click the link, click file, make copy, and you got your own version. That's right. Oh, I pasted it inside the, uh, why is it in the waiting room? Everyone in meeting. Okay. There we go. I had it going to the people in the waiting room for some reason. That's so strange. I've never seen that option. Okay. So now the link to the letter is there. Read my sample letter first. And, uh, just to kind of get a flavor and away you go spend, I'll, I'll give you 15 minutes. Cause this is, this is some important stuff. Uh, when you're finished, feel free just to share in the chat that you're done writing the letter. And if you finish early, you can just go straight into starting to research podcasts that you want to be um, 
you want to be hosted on. And also remember to copy paste the letter, copy and paste the spreadsheet as well. And if you have any questions, uh, just share in the chat and we'll be here. And give me a moment to uh, get some lo-fi beats going to get your groove on while you do your typing and working here.
Hey, Louise, welcome. I'm putting a link in the chat for you. We're just working on uh, creating a outreach email for our podcast that we're going to be hosting on, hosted on, hopefully. So I'll put the link in the chat for you. Thanks. Yeah. And then we'll come back together in a few minutes and do some research and next steps. So welcome.
if you don't get it done then we'll move into some researching if you have a question share in the chat Thank you. 
for just a moment i feel like a dj right now this is so fun um so uh regardless of how far you got we're uh just share in the chat how did that go did you get it done how you feeling about your email uh if you want to post a link i'm happy to take a look while you do your research if you want me to um just proofread and and make any comments or feedback you can just share a commentable uh, version of your document down below, preferably Google Doc or something like that. Um, so we're now going to use that spreadsheet and we're going to take about 15 minutes and let's just see how many podcasts you can find. So uh, the trick is just going to Google. So 
Uh, for Magic Kids, when I did my search uh, the other day, uh, I was just looking for uh, dad podcasts. That was the simplest way. I was just like, podcasts about being a dad. Uh, and I found those eight and I emailed. Uh, but for whatever your topic is, uh, and maybe you want to share in the chat what your topic is. So let's just say you're a meditation teacher. So meditation podcasts, it might be um, podcasts about business, podcasts about being a creator, podcasts about birthing. Uh, just it's so simple. And what you'll find is just go through the first two or three pages of Google um, and and reach out to the host and send them that personal copy paste email that you just wrote. And away you go. And then add them to your spreadsheet so that you can track how many people you're reaching out to, who's saying yes, who's saying no, and who you have to follow up with in a couple of weeks from now. So let's just uh, dive in for the next 15 minutes and do as much research as you can. And if you'd like feedback, post in the chat, and I'm happy to do that, and Claudia as well. And remember, you have to copy paste that spreadsheet template into your own spreadsheet.
Oh, nine more minutes to keep your research going.
more minutes. We've written our template. We've done a wee bit of research. I mean, 15 minutes is not much research. If you really want to dive into this regular rhythm with your business, um, you know, I would suggest that you spend an hour a week doing this exact process. You spend 20, 30 minutes researching and you spend the rest of that hour reaching out. So in the social media thing that we did the other day uh, around marketing and building community and memberships and leveraging relationships, the topic that we covered was like, what do you do with all the extra time if you're not on social media, if you're not posting, if you're not spending five to 10 hours a week or whatever it is for you and your business, what do you do? Well, this would be one of the replacement activities that you do. So you could literally spend, you know, five, 10 hours researching one keyword, outreaching to all those podcasts. And then you could find, choose another keyword that's also complimentary. You probably have 10 to 12 keywords that you cover and you could search all the podcasts in that field. And this becomes a regular rhythm. And then once you've run out of podcasts to apply to, you can find YouTube channels. You can find people to do a guest workshop on. This research is key for doing exactly that. And I hired my assistant to do this a couple of weeks ago. We reached out to a whole bunch of meditation apps to, uh, to get our meditations on. Uh, we reached out to a bunch of podcasts for Magic Media interviews. And so all of these things 
happened. Podcasting has transformed my business. I have a podcast, the Making Magic podcast, that um, is on Spotify and iTunes and all the things. I think that's where a lot of my website traffic comes is people organically finding and following the show, as well as uh, I've had a lot of people tell me that they found my podcast, they listen to it regularly, and then they've applied for partnerships with Magic Media in the past as well. So it's such a great and simple, fun way for you to build relationships and connect with people. So as we now pivot from writing, researching, we're now going to whatever um, email addresses you've gotten, you're going to copy and paste that letter that you wrote, and you're going to customize a little bit, mostly like the first sentence or two to make it kind of cater towards the podcast you're reaching out to. And you're going to spend the next 30 minutes reaching out to as many as you possibly can. And at the end of this session, you'd be like, wow, that was productive. That is the goal. There's going to be a, wow, that was productive button. Uh, and you're going to push that button and away we go. So Let's just keep in this holy flow here that we're in right now. If you have any questions, ask in the chat. And uh, now it's time to reach out and make some connections with some new people who are going to feature you on your sh on their show. And Jennifer just shared that she just hired an assistant yesterday for this very reason. That is so fun. And once they run out of podcasts, they can do guest appearances on the stage, virtual stages, etc. That's very exciting. You have an outreach person now. We all need that in life. Okay, have fun, everybody. Go spread some magic around the world. I'll just share a little hack. So I just looked up top 100 parenting podcasts for Magic Media. So if you have, let's just say, for example, guitar podcast, look up top 50 or top 100 guitar related podcasts or top 100 birthing podcasts, etc. And then you'll get like a whole list and you can grab the names. A lot of those websites want you to sign up for something before they give you an email or a link. So then you have to grab those names and put them in Google to go find their websites to reach out. But that's a nice hack. Cause then all of a sudden you get a nice organized list. All right, real quick, just answer this question. Somebody said, should I send the emails from my assistant or from me? Uh, so when my assistant did all the outreach, we have a secondary email account for me. And so my assistant sends all those emails from that account. But when somebody emails that account, 
that email is forwarded to me so I can engage in the conversation with the hosts of those shows and not my assistant. And then I have booking links, etc., or they'll have booking links uh, when it's time to book the show. So ideally, people want to talk to you, the person they're going to interview. Uh, so if you have an assistant doing this, create a secondary email account that you can send out from um, so that they're engaged with you the real person that would be my suggestion don't have to do that there's definitely plenty of assistants that'll reach out for a show interview or something like that on behalf of their person but uh, i think you'll get more traction if they read an email that's coming directly from the source that they want to be talking to
Still 16 minutes to go, so stay focused. Don't go to social media, whatever you do, stay focused.
about five more minutes, so keep on going. Remember, you can just keep doing this forever if you want.
All right, fuck. That is it. Let's uh, go on pause for a moment. And Claudia, if you can stop the music, even though it's really nice beats. <clears throat> so there we go, folks. We did the thing that we came to do. We wrote the emails. We did the research. And hopefully, possibly, you're at least on track to start sending some emails or to. Uh, to get them going. Um, Claudia, can you stop the music? I just want to make sure. There we go. Sweet. Um, so hopefully that was a productive 90 minutes for everybody. And, you know, obviously it's still playing in my ears. Is that your music or my music? It's my music? Oh, that's so funny. It's playing from elsewhere. A mystery place is in my ears. Well, then I'll just keep it going then, because none of you can hear this wonderful music in my head. <laughs> um, so I would suggest, you know, like watch the video. If you haven't seen the video or the audio from the other day, watch it. Get the ideas around how you can start to replace social media activity with other relationship building, leveraging activities, such as doing this. Imagine if you spent two hours a week, or you had an assistant spend two hours a week. And in the next year, you spent 100 hours doing podcast outreach, speaking outreach, etc. How much extra revenue could you generate inside of your business versus posting memes, posting things on social media, etc, which also sucks your time because then you get into the mindless scroll on the wall. So if you have questions, reach out and celebrate every single email that you send to people out in the world. I mean, in that little uh, 25 minute period, I think we had there at the end to reach out, I sent nine emails to nine new podcasts. It was really simple and uh, I feel delighted and I'm going to keep going after we stop the recording today because I feel like I've entered into a flow with this and I might as well just keep it going until I hit at least 20 emails sent out. So if anybody has any questions, now is a great time to ask before we wrap up for today. And uh, while you cue yourself, you can unmute yourself if you want, or you can ask in the chat. And while we do that, I will just cut to a quick commercial break. Uh, so this is for the Creators Club, uh, which we are opening our next cohort January 9th, 2023, which is actually coming up really soon. And if you're interested in joining the Creators Club, just head to magicmedia.com slash creators dash club to uh, find out all the details on this special magical club for creators who are trying to leverage their life work get their business to the next level and reach more people whose lives you can transform so uh, when you join the club right now we have three coaches but we have a new coach joining us uh, Shayla Davison who's teaching us tomorrow about emergent leadership for our next workshop and Shayla will be our fourth coach inside the community space that will essentially you get access to all of us in live coaching work parties etc uh, Jennifer says amazing yes we're both excited we're all excited about uh, having Shayla so you know our team collectively has build, been building online businesses for I mean each of us at least 15 years uh, for the four coaches. And this is our jam. It's what we do. So if you're looking for that leverageable support, check it out, apply. You have nothing to lose when you apply because even the 10 questions in the application will support you to get clear about what your next level looks like. And if you could wave your magic wand, what sort of support would you call in to, uh, to help you get to that next level. And that's what our team's for. We know all the things about tech and launching and marketing without social media and producing magical transformational media and building an inspired brand and all the wonderful things that are required to climb this mountain called building your dream business and living your lifestyle that you're aspiring to live. So uh, we have two more workshops this week tomorrow's emergent leadership with chayla davison check out chayla if you want to learn more about her or go to our website the creators club to learn more um go to magicmedia.com slash creators dash club and go to the fall events to see more info about the event and then friday if you want coaching support this friday come live 
bring your questions, bring your biggest problems that you're having inside of the scope of your business of what you're trying to do, uh, what you're trying to learn. And you're going to have the opportunity to receive coaching from four coaches, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, these are our magic minds that we do inside of the club every two weeks. And so it'll give you a taste of what that's like to have access to four coaches, as well as the collective of whoever shows up and wants to share their expertise as well. Because the wonderful thing about being in a community of entrepreneurs and creators is it's not just about the four coaches there. There's everybody that comes with their wisdom and experience. Um, so yeah, I appreciate everybody taking the time to be here today to work in and on your business. And I hope, uh, I hope these emails that you've written and the research that you've been doing help you all to get uh, a whole bunch of interviews so that your work can get out into the world a lot more and that this becomes a new part of your regular weekly rhythms that you uh, schedule this in. You schedule your success to have podcast, workshop, speaking outreach as a part of your regular rhythm because more powerful than you posting a meme on social media is you engaging in dialogue and conversations and facilitating your magic in the lives of people who are present with you. That is way better than putting your best stuff in the endless hole called Facebook or Instagram or TikTok that people might see it for a moment, be inspired, but they go back to the mindless scrolling. This is a way for you to stick in people's consciousness, be in people's ears and for them to develop a relationship with you so that they can come on that magical carpet ride with you and the work that you're here to do. So thank you everybody for being here. If you have any questions, reach out via email and uh, we're here to support you. Thanks everybody. Hopefully see you tomorrow for the Emergent Leadership Workshop. Take care.